What's good everybody? Welcome back to another video. This video we are going to explain what's going on with my hair. Just kidding. Today we are going to look at all of the things that I use on a daily basis and I'm talking about sewing. If you guys are wondering, I'm going to show you what I use on a daily basis for my usual sewing routine. Before I actually jump into the tools and everything that I use, do you have to buy all of these things to start sewing? No. Should you buy all these things to start sewing? Yes. Am I lying about the last thing? Yes. But anyways, <laughs> putting all the joking aside, let's get straight into the tools. So the first tool is the pizza cutter, aka the real name is a rotary cutter. This is something that I use to cut my fabrics. A lot of people think like, yo, what is that uh, rolly thing and it's a rotary cutter. Now, rotary cutters usually look like this. This is probably the most basic one that you can buy. Sorry guys, I'm kind of a cheapo. But with this, you would have to buy a cutting board. With the cutting board, you most likely might need to buy a ruler as well. It's not necessary, but you know, if you really want to get them nice, straight edges, straight cuts, you might need to invest into a ruler. Now, all of these things usually come in a set. So if you're at your local Joann's, Walmart, Amazon, Swat meat, bootleg swap meat, bootleg Walmart, bootleg Target, wherever you're deciding to buy sewing supplies, they will possibly have it in a set. You can buy it individually, but like I said, you cannot use the rotary cutter without a cutting board and your cuts will be not the same without a ruler. So instead of a rotary cutter, you can just use a pair of scissors. Now, I, I've never really bought a pair of fabric scissors and this is probably why I think rotary cutters are so great. But you can just go with your regular pair of scissors if you just don't have the money for a rotary cutter or the whole set. So this is a great alternative, just your pair of scissors. When I first started sewing, I'm not even gonna lie, I'm not even gonna front either. I literally went to the kitchen and used the kitchen scissors. Is that recommended? No. Should you do this? No, not at all. But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do to, you know, get into the sewing game, you know what I'm saying? Psych. <laughs> but a great alternative is scissors. Now, is there a big difference between using scissors and using a rotary cutter? Not really. They're, they have their advantages, they have their disadvantages. And at the end of the day, it's all preference on what you would like to use. Sometimes I use the scissors, sometimes I use the rotary cutter, it just depends on the project. So the next tool is something that I use almost 97% of the time that I'm sewing and maybe sometimes in my life. And it is a seam ripper. Seam ripper is the undo button of sewing if you're messing up. You got the seam ripper. If you need to cut some thread, got a seam ripper. If you just don't know what the heck to do with your sewing machine or your project, seam ripper. So these are relatively cheap. I think I got mine for, I think it was only $2 at Walmart. I'm going to put a list and price point of all these things down below so you don't get boggled down by all the prices. It's just a simple tool to cut thread, fix problems, be a hero, you know what I'm saying? So there you go, Steam Ripper. The next two things is a double. I'm gonna feature it at the same time and they're so small that I gotta put it together so it looks like a big thing. I got a sewing marker right on the left side for you guys and then a sewing chalk on the right side for you guys. So these are something that I just use sparingly. I don't use this a lot, but if I really want to get the patterns right, if I want to get the cuts right, if I want to just get it right, get it tight, I'd be using these little tools. Now are these essential to what you are going to do? It depends. Only recently I started using these more just because I'm getting into the bigger projects. Things have to be precise. Things just gotta be A1, you know what I'm saying? So these are definitely a good pickup if you want to get more serious into sewing. Otherwise, you don't need these. You can just go ham. Free ball it. Yeah, I know what free balling means. 
But yes, free ballin'. Alright? Got him. Now for all the old time, long time subscribers, you know what the next thing is. And I'm, I'm just gonna say it exactly how I say it in my old tutorials. You're going to need a bunch of pins. Yes, this is one container of pins. I can't really show you because I'm not gonna lie, I lost the cap to this, so I, I, I'm kind of winging it by just... I'm winging it and risking it at the same time by keeping us open like this and slanting it like this so you guys can see the pins on the inside. You're going to need a bunch of pins regardless of what project you're going to tackle on. I have about three bins of this. I don't know where the other ones are, but I need to go find them. But you're going to need a bunch of pins. It's always good to have pins around too. They're very easy to use. So put it in place that you're trying to put two pieces together and you set. You can sew. Now people always ask me, can you sew over pins when it's in the piece of clothing? Technically, no. Technically, yes, you can, but technically, no, you shouldn't. But I don't care. I mean, I'm kind of do that. I'd be, I'd be doing whatever I want, honestly. So there you go, pins. A lot of them. Get them. And the last tool that I use is the most important one. This is something that you should just have off the bat, and it's a measuring tape. Measuring tapes will go a long way. I use this for tailoring. I've used this for looking how tall I am. I use this to see how fat I got. There's just so many uses for this and you're going to use it a lot in sewing, especially when you get more into pattern making, especially when you get into tailoring. So it's just a really good tool to have. So that was all the tools that I use on a daily basis. Now, do you need all of these to get into sewing? Yes. Do you need it right away? No. Do you need half the stuff that I use here on my channel and you gotta get the same exact thing? No. All right. Let's be real, guys. Save that money, work that part-time job. If you can't get a part-time job, try to negotiate with your parents. That's something that I started off doing. I was like, mom, I'm about to clean your car for the next 10 years if you give me five bucks. That's probably the worst offer I can give out, but I was really desperate. I mean, I made it work and that $5 did help me get to where I got today. That's pretty much the essentials video. If you guys enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. If you have not already done so, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I upload two to three videos a week, whether it be tips, whether it be advice, whether it be sewing, it pretty much revolves sewing. But if you like stuff like this, be sure to subscribe. If you guys are already subscribed but want a notification when I upload my videos, be sure to hit that bell down below if you're on mobile. If you are on the computer or whatnot, go to my YouTube page and there should be some sort of bell or some sort of get that young notification button somewhere. And finally, if you have not added me on Snapchat or Instagram or Twitter or MySpace, my MySpace, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter is at Kennedy Daily. Follow me on there. I'll be posting sometimes, you know, some, uh, you know, uh, you know. All right, so that's the video. Love you guys, Cat Fam. We out here. Remember to keep it daily, and hope to catch you guys next.